All right, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I just had to tech check my watch to make sure it wasn't like uh, four in the morning or like five when my dad goes to work and he would hear me saying all this. So I had to uh, really check myself before I wreck myself. Um, okay, so here's what we're doing here. So as you can see, for all of my um, research right now, I need red, green, and blue beaker. Up until now, I've just needed red and green, so I haven't worried about blue beaker. So um, each color beaker, it gets significantly more complicated to make them. Like for instance, red beaker just takes one copper plate, one iron gear. That's like super easy because an iron gear you can mine the iron ore, put it in a furnace, make an iron plate, and then um, use a assembly machine to insert the copper plate and it may or the iron plate and it makes an iron gear. Super simple. That's like two steps. And then that uh, fucking copper plate is just you literally mine copper, put it in a furnace, and you get a copper plate. Super easy. So I have those going to here down to here I have the iron uh, the, uh, what are they called exactly uh, yeah iron gear wheels and copper plates those go over here make the red beakers red beakers bang green beaker it takes a transport belt and an inserter those are a little bit more complicated because a transport belt takes iron plates and iron gears which is annoying because both of those just take a bunch of iron so you just have to like uh, like change iron like two different times and it's like but it's all the same iron so like why can't I just do it with raw iron material anyway it's stupid um, and then it also takes inserters which again is iron and iron gears but also electrical circuits which for that it's copper plates but you need um, to make those you need to make the electrical circuits you need copper cables which is like one step more complicated than iron plates because uh, copper cable is made from iron plates so for those it's turning to nighttime you can see my little headlamp um, for those I have the copper coming down the copper plates coming down here um, it takes it here makes copper coil uh, the copper wire gets sent to here which this is the plant that makes the, um, what's it called? The electrical thing, blah, blah, blah. And then it bunt through a bunch of stuff. It spits out green stuff, green ones. Cool, cool, cool. Good work. Oh, here it here's the assembly arm. Here's that. Anyway, that's all stuff I've had for, forever. So for green or for blue beaker, that is complicated because you need sulfur advanced circuits and engine units so for sulfur you need to find oil refineries um and then refine it into petroleum gas and then from there let's see uh for sulfur you need 30 watt, 30 petroleum gas. So you need to refine the crude oil into petroleum gas, then put that into a chemistry, uh, a chem chemistry, uh, chemical plant, and along with some water, and then that spits out sulfur. So I'm running up here to where my oil fields are because that is the closest um, place that I had a uh, place to tap into oil so but I didn't want to have it all up here and have to run back and forth and check and make sure everything's good to go here so what I did is I was doing that right here and I was like this is annoying so I just kind of abandoned this and I have these full cool so my oil reserves are full anyway so I have my six oil taps I can make a seventh one probably um, by electrical circuits, whatever. Um, so my six oil taps, those get pumped 
in down through here, gets pumped to here, and then that goes to my six refineries. Those refine the crude oil into, am I recording audio? I hope I'm recording audio. It's picking up my mic, but I don't know if it's recording the audio. Okay, we're just gonna assume it is. Um, so the crude oil goes into the oil refineries and the oil refineries spit out petroleum gas. So those all go here into, I have two tanks here. This guy just started making some for some reason. I guess something happened down at my base. Anyway, so this is all up here. It makes the um, petroleum gas that I need for the sulfur. I have that going to pump here and then I have underground wires or underground uh, pipes all the way back to my base. Um, I didn't made them underground because uh, pipes are kind of annoying because you can't walk through them. So if you, I just made like a giant line of pipes all the way to my base, it would like I'd have to go all the way around if I wanted to walk from one side to the other. Um, so I made underground pipes, and they can only be so long, so they have to pop out of the ground every once in a while. Um, so I have that coming all the way back to my base, so that I could manage all of this stuff closer together. I'm gonna fucking chop down that tree. Um, this tree too. Fuck this tree. Um, these trees are fine. So this comes all the way back down to my base. Uh, oh, I need to blow up these cliffs so that it's flat. Anyway, so still come down. And then I have it come here, make a turn, go here, go under my wall. Um, and then the petroleum goes here to here to here, down here, and then I have one uh, chemical plant that's making sulfur. So the petroleum gas is coming into this part. The water, uh, similar thing with the petroleum gas, but there's closer water to here. So I have the water um, through underground pipes going up this way. Um, and there's a big ass ocean. I don't know if it's, it might be, um, it's probably not an ocean, but it's like a fucking huge lake and a huge place of water. So I have an offshore pump pumping water out from that through the underground pipes back to my base, similar with the petroleum gas. Um, and so then that comes over here so like I said earlier to make sulfur you need petroleum gas and water um, you can find that to make sulfur um, and just again to the reason I need sulfur is for blue beaker one of the ingredients is one sulfur so um, came over here put that pipe line of water next to my petroleum gas that goes into one side of the chemical plant petroleum gas goes into the other side it pops out sulfur which comes out here onto this belt then um, another thing you need for blue beaker is three advanced circuits and to make an advanced circuit you need a normal electrical circuit four copper cables and two plastic bars um, the copper cables and the electrical circuits are not that hard to make, but the plastic bars are kind of annoying because to make the plastic bars, you need one coal and 20 petroleum gas. So um, I took some of the petroleum gas that's here, split it so that one goes into making the sulfur, goes over here, splits here, goes into another chemical plant that is making... Um, the plastic bars. I have a crate full of coal here, which I actually should fill that up. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. 
Okay. Um, and then, so I don't really have to worry about filling the... Um, that's about as much as I want to put. So I don't have to worry about filling this with coal very much because this arm will automatically take coal from this crate whenever it needs coal. Um, so I don't have to keep coming over here and putting coal into this. So has the petroleum coming here, coal going here, and then it spits out a plastic bar and I have the arm putting it on a second conveyor belt here. And then I have this conveyor belt and this conveyor belt merging into this one. So this one stays on this side, sulfur stays on this side. Um, and this is all to make, well the sulfur is for the blue beaker, plastic things is for the advanced circuitry which is also going to be for the blue beaker. So then I have a splitter here that filters the plastic bars straight down. It filters the sulfur over this way. So uh, let's stick with the plastic bars. Um, like I said, for advanced circuitry, you need plastic bars, copper cables, and electrical circuits. So the plastic bars come down here. Um, the copper co copper cable I have just my copper mine over here that takes all the copper and makes copper plates goes this way so I have a splitter for that puts copper plates down here if these buildings these three buildings are making copper coil or copper wire so it takes the copper plate puts it into here and here and here from this conveyor belt and then this little blue arm whenever the copper wire is done in here, it takes it out and puts it on this conveyor belt for each one. So um, it basically just takes this conveyor belt of copper plates and converts it into this belt of copper wire, which then is now next to the plastic bars, which again, as you can see, plastic bars, copper cable, and electrical circuits, or electronic circuit. Um, so for the electronic circuit, I have these two buildings making electronic, electronic circuits. Um, and they're kind of struggling right now because they can't get enough iron plates. And there could be a lot of reasons for that. Um, it looks like, oh, because a lot of the furnaces I have for that ran out of fuel. Um, right now, I'm, it, I'm upgrading to electric furnaces so I won't have to come back and put fuel in this a million times um, oh no oh no bugs are attacking hold on oh my god oh my god they're breaking so much of my stuff oh my god this broke so much of my stuff hold on I gotta text you and tell you this is gonna be a little bit. Um, okay, they broke a bunch of stuff, but I can rebuild that fairly quickly. Um, let me just repair everything that they broke. Or, that they almost broke. Because they broke it, and I'm fucked. There we go, there we go. Dude, I don't know where they came from, and I thought that I had turrets out. Oh, they're probably coming from here. Um, okay. So, what's the deal here? I need... They broke this. What else did they break? Um... Hmm. 
I hate it too because their bodies stay here, so you can't like tell if they uh it like what you can't see what they broke. Uh oh, that fucked something up. Is that what I wanted to do? No, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh. Okay, so... It should actually be fine, I think. So, okay. Back to the thing at hand, because I think that crisis averted. Oh, let me fix this. And that, and that, and that. Um, I don't think they broke anything else. So one of my turrets is broken. Classic. Um. Let me put some bullets into there. That probably won't stop them again if they come because didn't stop them last time. Um, anyway, okay, so back to my issue with my metal plates. Um, a big issue, I think, is that I am running out of... Um, Um, I'm running out of iron ore to mine here, but that's okay because I have a fuck ton like right here. Um, so this will give me more iron plates on here. It's not much, but it's honest work. Um, I'll put one here as well. Um, classic, need iron plate, oh, that's not what I want to do. Okay. Okay. So that should give me more iron plates, which is good, because iron plates is like what makes everything. Um, okay. So where was I? Oh, okay, so I think before the issue was the simple electrical electrical circuits, these green guys. Um, yeah, because they weren't getting the plates that they needed. So those plates come from all the iron plates come from this mine over here. They get put in the furnace, turn into iron plates, and then get put on this conveyor belt, and then split up in a bunch of ways. So for the electrical circuits, the ones that, uh, those ones go, it seems like I have them coming down through here, over to here, okay, they get split here, come up here, go over here, down through here, and then they get spit out onto this right side of this belt. Um, I'm trying to see how um, I could make more with this. Yeah. Um, what do I need for this? Ten stone. Oh, bro, I got so much fucking stone over here, I think. Not over here. Over here. 
This is all my research going on, but it's struggling because it doesn't have enough blue ones. Oh my god, so much stone. Um, what was I trying to make? This. Okay. Um, and then that. Okay, so that's making a bunch here. Um, that's making a bunch here. Um, I could do this actually. And this would probably speed it up just a little bit. So yeah, now these are coming down. Maybe if I make... Mm, I'll just, I'll try that later sometime. Anyway, so these are coming down. Gonna split up over to here. Prioritize this side. As the output. Okay, so now that's taking everything over here and sending it over here. And then if this gets filled, it'll send more this way. Which is going to really mess up my green beaker stuff for right now. But I have so much green beaker that it doesn't matter. Um, okay. So, where was I? Ah, making the advanced circuits. So, to make the advanced circuits, like I said, you need the basic ones, the green ones. Um, so, those all come into these buildings to make the red ones. Um, once the, it looks like I'm making a decent amount, I should probably make a third one to put it here. Um, I just need to make sure I have enough. you know, uh, iron plates. Anyway, so that comes into here. To make the red ones, you need... Why do I have iron plates coming down here? I feel like there was a reason for that. But I don't remember what it was. Whatever. That might be an oversight, actually. Um, so, like I said, this needs plastic, copper cable, and electric electrical circuits, sorry, the plastic and the electrical circuits on this one. These blue guys take both of those in, put them into there, put them into there. The copper cable comes over here. Um, I'm not having as so much copper cable down here as I would like, um, which seems like a product of... Uh, let's make this faster. Okay, whatever. Um, copper cable comes down here, makes this, pops out the red ones. Then down here is where the blue beakers are finally... Oh, wait, that was just red. So, if, like, for blue beakers, uh, I showed you the sulfur, I showed you the advanced circuitry. So, uh, advanced circuitry, that yellow stuff is sulfur. Um, and then the last thing you need for blue beaker is engine units and for the engine units those are fairly complicated to make you need one steel plate one iron gear and two pipes so again a lot of my iron plate is being taken from that to do this so it's being split here coming over here these iron plates are getting put in the furnaces to make the iron uh or the steel plates 
So those get taken here, made steel plates. Steel plates go over here and then down through here. Um, the iron gears, I'm just taking them from the iron gear belt I had in the very beginning. Um, that gets, iron gears get spit onto this belt and then I split them right here and they can go straight here and they also go up through here and end up on the bottom side of this conveyor belt. Um, so then once they get to here I have the um, I have the steel steel plates and the iron gears to put into this so the last thing I need is um, pipes to finish up the making engines so for that um, pipes are to make pipes you need one iron plate so for the iron plates again I have that coming down here it goes underneath this conveyor belt iron plates go straight over here just to here and then these two buildings are making the pipes um, so I have long reach inserters that reach over this conveyor belt onto this one where the iron plates are takes that puts into there same with this and then on the other side once it's done making the pipes it spits out the pipes onto this conveyor belt um, which maybe I'll put a splitter here just to even up this belt just so that I'm using both sides of it and this can do stuff and not get blocked up it won't make a huge difference but just a little bit um, so then finally to make the engines like I said steel plates iron gear wheels and pipes it gets the steel plates and the iron gears from this side gets the pipes from this side does all that makes the engines and then I have long oh, fuck more bugs hold on oh my god it broke something oh my god stuff but not anything that's vital to what I'm showing you right now that was just like my fuck dude <sighs> that was like my stone production but that has nothing to do with this um anyway so the engines so it combines all three of those things to make the engines and then I have long arm inserters to take it out of this building and put it onto this conveyor belt which starts here goes to here and then that comes up over here and then it merges with the sulfur from way 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 before down through here through some underground things and then now it's just an open one here so then finally like I said before for the blue ones you need sulfur advanced circuits and advanced circuits and engine units um, so I have sulfur engine units on this belt advanced circuits on this belt finally and then these are my four blue beaker assemblers so I have one short arm taking from this first conveyor belt of red circuits which again I think I might um, do that just to double that up just to have more room um, doesn't make a huge difference again just kind of looks nicer um, so I have my blue ones my little blue short inserters moving it from the first belt into here I have my long arm inserters taking sulfur and engine uh, sulfur and engine units putting that into here which are the three things um, right now that one doesn't have like anything in it but this one has them in it it's making blue beakers and then on the other side Oh, this should be like that. Oh, that's why it wasn't doing anything because... Um, anyway, so then on this side, spits out the blue beakers onto this conveyor belt that is almost broken. Oh, my God. Fuck those guys. Um, then that conveyor belt comes down through here. 
down here. And this is almost broken. <sighs> that was awful. I need to build a wall. I'll do that later. It comes down through here and then comes down to this bottom research center, which is where all the beakers come. So for my red and green ones, they get inserted up here and here, and they're daisy chains together. So if I put in red ones here, red and green ones here, these arms on this side will send them down the line and fill up these as they need filling. Um, and then I have my blue beakers doing the opposite where it comes in the bottom here and then all of these blue arms send them up through them and fill them up as they need to be filled. Um, I don't have enough, I don't think I have enough blue beaker. I don't know, this is kind of a weird setup because I don't think I have enough Maybe. Eh, um, you know what? We're going to do something on the fly here. Also, I'm going to save. Because while I do this, I don't want bugs kill me. Bug uh, part two. Okay. Um, I'm going to try putting the blue ones in up to here and just have them all go straight down and maybe that will make it a little bit more manageable um this is probably not how i'm gonna have it be in the end i'm like gonna clean it up a little bit oh i finished the uh fucking advanced metal processing um, I don't know what I want to, uh, um, oh, this will be good for me. Okay. So now this is going to send those blue beakers this way. Uh, and you know what? Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, that, that. That, 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 and then I'll put two different arms going down so that it can have a lot more throughput um, because it can grab two different things at one time. Um, and then. Also, I have a bunch of blue beaker I think I'm holding on to that I'll just dump into here. Um, and then now it's sending all these down. And this looks like it's working a lot better. Because um, it looks like they're all working and not going in and out as much as they were before. Um, so this is probably, I'll probably clean this up and make this the way I'm going to do it in the future. Um, but yeah, that is my blue beaker journey. Um, in summary, uh, in summary, blue beakers, as I've said before, take sulfur, advanced circuits, engine units, got my sulfur from up here, got my advanced circuits from down here. Got my engine production up here, and that all comes to combined on these two conveyor belts, which have four buildings making blue, uh, blue beakers and shit. Um, you know what? Let's do a little little blueprint, and uh, let's make. Let's have one more make. Blue beaker, because I still need a blue beaker. Comes the it looks like the red circuit or the red circuit board is caught up to be. I'm making enough and enough green circuits as well. Um, yeah, it looks like I 
semi fixed my iron plate issue by adding more iron mining things. Um, so it looks like those are all getting stocked up and not running out like they did before. I feel like a bug is going to attack soon. Also, I kind of like to have this come down at it instead of directly at it. God damn it, I knew the bugs were going to attack. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Oh my god. Oh my god. I really need to... Uh, I'm probably going to reload that save I had earlier because I don't want to deal with all that. So um, this is where I'm going to cap it off. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit me with that like and subscribe. And um, I'll send this to you in a second. Um, all right. Goodbye.